Welcome everybody, this is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. I'm Scott Patton, and she is ah, Joan Kidder. Hey Joan, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Happy New Year to everyone out there. Happy New Year. Uh, so we're really, really excited. One of the things that Joan is, is she's an expert in energetic psychology. And it's how to delve into the subconscious because about 5% of what we do is conscious. 95% of what we do in our decisions are all done at the subconscious level. So you may consciously want to do something very, very badly, but for whatever reason, your subconscious, and I like to think of it as like your inner child or your little child, uh, doesn't want to do it. It's having a temper tantrum, that sort of thing. And so the result is, is that you... Uh, don't do what you want to do, or you do the things that you don't want to do. And until you get your conscious and your subconscious kind of lined up, uh, life is very, very difficult. And a lot of the uh, disease that occurs in the world occurs from the energetic level, in the energetic area first, and then it comes into the physical. Just like when we want to get a house, we think about it, and then we think about what type of house we want to get. And then as we go through that process, what we're thinking about, the unseen, comes into reality and then we get our house as, a, as an example. So, uh, Joan, you focus a lot on EFT, which is emotional freedom technique. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's so much fun. Emotional freedom techniques has to do with the meridian system, which is the electrical system of the human body. And the ancient Chinese found this over 5,000 years ago. So just like acupuncture, only without needles, we tap on certain points and we clear our energy meridians or the electrical pathways through our bodies and health is restored. Cool. So this is something that takes... Interesting. So this is something that takes years and years and years of doing before no. you any impact on your No, health. no, 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 no. It's very, very simple. The mechanics of EFT are so simple. There are really 14 points. That when someone gets proficient at tapping these points, then sometimes they can even take a shortcut and cut it down to maybe seven points. So the mechanics of EFT are very simple. You can learn the mechanics of EFT in 15 minutes wow but then the, yeah the art of eft is learning what your target is what you want to tap about so you're tapping on the acupressure points top of head beginning of eyebrow side of eye under eye under nose middle of chin below collarbone under the arm and some people like to tap under the ribs. I found a new tapping place that I really like, which is on the inside of the knee. Oh, that is that's a point for the liver. That oh, seems to right. be more effective than tapping underneath the ribs. So okay. then, once you figure out what your target is or what you want to release from your subconscious, and then you tap on these points while you're thinking or feeling of what you want to release. So, no, it doesn't take any time at all. And, and having said that, and having worked with you on more than one occasion, uh, in my particular case, I like to go to fitness classes, like a yoga class or something like that, because I know that if I put a DVD on the TV and I watch it and then I do the exercises or whatever, I'm going to do it about... 25% of the intensity that I would do it in a class when I have a teacher watching me. Right? <laughs> uh, and I, I noticed that uh, when it comes to EFT, it's sort of the same thing, is that I, if I'm tapping, I'm going to be like really tapping superficial. And it's not, it's, and it's not consciously being superficial. It's the fact that my conscious mind does not want to look at the deep, dark stuff. Mm -hmm. So it just, okay, I don't. And I remember one time when we worked together and you said, stop. But you just said we need to go on a little bit of tangent and get down into that root and pull that out. And so it was like, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course we did. So 
the important, I just wanted to emphasize that yes, you can learn the points and you can tap and everything else and it'll help. But if you want a lot of help, you need to work with somebody who is not going to let true. your mind get away with murder. Everything that people find on the internet and on YouTube is called global tapping. It really is not specific to the person's needs. When we do specific tapping, and when you have someone like myself who's an expert in tapping, I'm certified as um, as a practitioner of the gold standard of EFT. When you work with someone who is skilled as a certified or master practitioner, they can help you find your target because many times what people think they want to tap on isn't really it at all. And then we find the deeper level what they need to tap on. That's why our courses on Udemy are so exciting because you have me as your instructor and then I take you through different scenarios of things to tap on because I'm thinking the same way most of you are thinking is that whatever the resistance might be, whatever the problem might be, and I give you a specific phrase to use when you tap so you're more likely to get to the core issue than if you were just tapping by yourself. And then if you and I work together one-on-one, -on -one, then I, bam, I listen and then I find exactly what the problem is, which is oftentimes different than what you thought the problem was. And that's really exciting to help someone get to the specific source, the specific cause of their problem. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that was a key point that I wanted to make. And uh, so what we want to talk I'm glad you did. Is, um, you know, can you give us an example of maybe a story of, of how effective uh, EFT can be? Yeah, I'd love to. Actually, I was working, because I do global consultations around the world, I was working with a lady from Saudi Arabia recently, and she thought that she wanted to tap on depression and loss. And then as we were tapping, she said something to me that made so much sense. It was, she was feeling guilty about her daughter. So then I said, wait a minute, we need to go over here. And we started tapping on guilt. And specifically, we started tapping on forgiveness of self, which is located in the index finger. And then because her problem was difficulty breathing, I put two and two together. And I thought breathing has to do with the lung, which also has to do with self-esteem. So in tapping and in Chinese medicine, the lung, the thumb, is where the lung meridian is. And the index finger is where the forgiveness is as far as the large intestine. So we tapped on both the index finger for forgiveness and the lung. And it was, phew, she started releasing, she started crying, and she let go of the guilt. And what was so exciting was she is an EFT coach. So I was honored to assist her in her journey. And we were quickly, we quickly got to the root of the problem, which wasn't um, depression at all. She contacted me for help with trouble breathing and then when we got to the lung because she was having a hard time taking a breath so then as soon as we did the tapping I asked her to take a breath and then I asked her to take another breath and she was okay and then I asked her to practice this on her own to make sure that she can easily take a deep breath now being as I am a mental health counselor in the United States I am not licensed to treat physical problems but 90% of the time, a physical problem has an emotional basis. So when we tap on the emotion that's stuck, it could very well relieve the physical problem. But that was so much fun to work with this person and help them. We started one place and then we ended over at another place. But that's where she needed to be and that's what she needed to release. 
So we were both so excited. Wonderful. That's a great story. Thank you for sharing it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so this is our first time going live. We plan on doing it on an ongoing basis. And uh, if you have any questions, we're going to be talking for the first 15, 20 minutes about different things like we did today, kind of an introduction. And then if you have any questions, you just put it in the comments and we'll get them somehow. And it's just the magic. As if by magic. It's all magic. <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll be happy to answer them. We've got about 10 minutes left in our first show. And um, one of the things that we have in our, we started a new group, which is uh, EFT, uh, Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT for you uh, on Facebook. And so we hope that you will join the group. And of course, then we can ask, you can ask more questions and we can get to know you a lot better. And I'm going to put the link to that in the comments so that you've got that. But basically, facebook.com forward slash EFT for you, F O R U. I think that's what it is. And mm -hmm. the letter U. Mm -hmm. Just check. No, I'll have, to, I'll have to find it. I don't have it up. I changed, I changed my Facebook page. Uh, so, one of the things that we've done, and now it's New Year's, and what happens in January is everybody goes on a diet that doesn't work. So, we put together a course, <laughs> EFT for weight loss. Uh, and for exercise. So maybe you could talk a little bit about some of the problems people have that emotionally that cause them to be unable to lose their weight or to gain weight. Oh, um, unconsciously, there's a lot of, I don't deserve to be healthy. It's not safe to be healthy. It's not possible to be healthy. It's not about laziness. I want to make this point. It's not, I'm too lazy to exercise or go to the gym or take a walk, whatever it is. There's always an underlying um, river of resistance that gets in the way when someone has trouble exercising. So when we take a look at, well, what are some of the reasons? And I just ask, sometimes I do what's called muscle testing and sometimes I just say, well, do you feel, say, I deserve to be healthy. And then if someone looks down at the ground or they start crying or tearing up, then bingo. There's a deserving issue. If I say it's possible to be healthy and the same thing, if there's an emotional reaction, and these are some of the typical unconscious resistances that people don't even know are there. Deserving, possible, safety, and trust. And then we use EFT to tap those out. And then once we tap them out, then there's more likelihood, for instance, that they will exercise or they I mean, you don't have to go from zero to 100. It's just about being able to take small steps at a time. If you can do something for five minutes one day and then maybe do something for 10 minutes the next day and build up to it, that's all it takes. So now I have done EFT for myself most definitely, and I do enjoy going to the gym and working out. I love spinning. And then at my gym, they have TV so I can watch my favorite TV show or I can watch Netflix. or So I have fun doing that. And then I have fun. I get motivation from watching other people. So if I see somebody, it's not a contest with me. It's, okay, if that person over there is lifting 100 pounds because there are a lot of bodybuilders that work out, if they're lifting 100 pounds, can I just do 20 today? What can I do for myself today? So I have a lot of fun competing with myself too, but yeah, I do enjoy exercising and you will too, once you do EFT for whatever's blocking you from getting going. Always consult with a physician first before starting any exercise program. Okay. You know, I have to put that in there. <laughs> There's our disclaimer. Yes. Don't try this at home, folks. Definitely Thank try it at home, but. Check with your doctor first. Okay. That's right. And I think sometimes in our society, we separate the physical from the mental and the emotional and the spiritual, right? Because we can, we can, you know, you can knock on something, you can feel it, right? Mm -hmm. but, and that's sort of solid, but we can be angry or upset or uh, sad, and we don't want to feel it. So we, mm -hmm. we just hide it away, push it away. 
and by not expressing it or not getting it out or resolving it, we think it's gone. And of course, pops up here, pops up there. It's like whack a mole. Oh, if I had a nickel for every client that's told me that they've already dealt with it, I could retire right now. Well, someday I will, but I still have fun helping people. Um, so I have a I question do about a that. Test. Yes, is sir. It, is it ever done? Is it, well, we're humans and we're always evolving. Is it ever done? What a so wise I, question. I had an experience. I mean, so I had an experience when I was young. It was a bad experience. It's driven me in ways that were not healthy for decades. I now, I think, what I, what I guess what I'm saying is, is I'm never going to like erase the memory of it, but I can erase the trauma of it. Yes, you can. You can. You will always have the memory of it, but it won't resonate with you. It's not going to have there a charge. Be, it's not going to have a charge with you anymore. And yes, that can be completely eliminated. I won't forget it, but... My but when you think about it, it won't cause you any distress at all. It'll just say, yes, it's something that yeah. happened in my life, but it doesn't make me upset now. It doesn't affect, make me feel upset, and it doesn't affect my decisions today. Because many people, their, their whole life and every decision they made can be driven by forces that they don't know, which are emotional and and, uh, which are in the unconscious. Yeah, they don't even know the patterns that are in their unconscious. And what I want to say to the world is you don't have to repeat the patterns of your ancestors if they don't work for you. Take all the good stuff. Leave the rest behind. If you can't leave the rest behind, tap on it. Cool. So the other thing I want to just sort of bring up, we've got a few minutes left, is uh, chakras, because we also uh, have a course on chakras, one of our more mm -hmm. popular courses. We're really excited about that because mm -hmm. it was a risk doing it. Uh, I so love like, chakras. What are chakras? Oh, chakras are the major circuit breakers of the body. They're, an analogy would be the chakras are like major cities of the world. Now, since I live in the U.S., I think of New York City, Miami, Los Angeles, Chicago maybe Denver, and then they're very powerful and they spin and they have color to them. And all this has been documented through special photography. So we're not just blowing smoke here. They really do exist. Now, I can balance them with my hand, but I have my handy dandy little golden hue pendulum. And what I love doing is balancing people's chakras because sometimes something can be in the root. With EFT, that concentrates on the meridian system inside the human body. But chakras are major cones of energy, and the widest part comes out and connects with our energy field. The smallest part comes in. There are, there are actually 12 of them. The first seven are attached to the human body, and then eight through 12 are at the soul level. And once you clear those chakras, wow. That's like, drinking pure spring water on a hot summer day. It is so refreshing. You just, you feel lighter is how I would describe it. Right. And so everything works better. We're talking about energetic psychology and we're talking about energy. And of course, how does energy flow in the world? Uh, we don't see the electricity that turns on our light bulbs, but we know that in these wires is, in, is something that mm -hmm. when it's on and we touch it, we're going to get a spark and get hurt. When it's off, we can I mean, touch it, it's fine. I want to show the world something. Here we are. We are a walking battery. And when we're healthy, the positive terminal is at the top and the negative is at the bottom. So balancing our chakras and tapping on our meridians can help to keep us upright the north is up the south is down the positive is up and the negative is down this is a healthy person and so, I suspect that if you turn it sideways that would be where most people are that 
really good point because most people are either sideways or upside down and then they can't figure out why they feel this way so then some people go and take a pill which ah i do not recommend unless you have major major depression maybe for a short period of time but working with the electrical system working with healthy food off of life enthusiast working with supplements taking food all healthy things when you have a healthy lifestyle you're going to have a healthy electrical system and you're going to have a happy balanced and grounded nervous system Ta -da! your nervous system is your electrical system cool so i want to kind of uh, sort of end it with this thought that just popped into my head which was we eat dinner we take the plates and normally we clean them or we put them in a dishwasher and they get clean. Mm. And then every week or two, we get out the vacuum and we vacuum our house. And every so often, we take our car in and we wash the car. And, and we certainly take our car in to get the oil changed and we certainly put gas in our car. And usually you put the correct, you don't put diesel in a car that has gas and you put gas in a car that turns on diesel. So we, we try to put the right things in. We try to uh, keep everything clean because we know that it's a better environment and it's more healthy and all those things. Yet uh, we never were taught to look after the chakras, to look after right. our emotional and mental health. And, uh, and so that's, as you look at, look at society uh, and all the cat, catas catastrophes that are occurring, in people's lives, um, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. So what we want to do now is we really want to work on keeping our body the way we keep our homes or like keep our car. Like some people will spend hours polishing their car and you know, their engine looks like it's brand new, and yet they won't spend five minutes uh, looking at the subconscious drivers that uh, are causing havoc in their lives. Oh, that is such a beautiful analogy. Absolutely positively correct. Honest to be. I mean, washing a car can be a form of meditation too, but yeah, you've got to clean out your mind and your nervous system, just like you clean everything else. And like you put gas in your car, you've got to eat the right foods. You wash your car, you take a shower, why don't you want to do a little tapping and calm your nervous system? Exactly. So, Joan, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, find out a little bit more about EFT and some of the things that, that you can do, uh, how can they do that? Just go to Joan Kaler, J O A N K A Y L O R dot com or Joan Kaler at hotmail dot com. I am here to serve. And, and I almost forget. We're going to put into the, uh, the chat box our chakra course, and we've got it uh, on sale for $10, so there's no reason. We just wanted everyone to be able to get their hands on this. Really? This is a deal, everybody, and it's got great reviews. We, Scott and I had so much fun making it, so enjoy. That's right, and your chakras are just going to be... Oh, Clean, calm open. and cleansed and spinning beautifully, which will give you the health and happiness and prosperity for 2017 that you deserve. Awesome. Well, Joan, thank you very much for taking time out of your, uh, your busy day. I, I know you've got lots going on. I really appreciate it. And I'm just going to put your URL in before we sign off so people can have it. Well, thank you, Scott, for having me. I love talking to the world. <laughs> I love talking to you, and I love talking to the world. That's right. And we're going to be talking to the world on a regular basis from now on. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Yep. We love you a lot. zippity doo da. zippity doo da. And if you have any questions, just put them into the comments. We, we will be getting the comments forever and ever and ever and answering them. But also, if it's a really good question, we could do a whole show just on that question. Uh, if it's worthwhile. 
So you've been watching and listening to the Life Enthusiast online radio and TV network, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. www.life-enthusiast.com and www.joankaylor.com. So thanks for joining us, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.